good morning students today we are going to see a very important property of the liquid which is called as a surface tension we have seen that a mosquito a spider can walk on the water surface a grease needle can float on the water surface the shape of a drop and soap bubble is spherical in nature so what is the property what is the phenomena responsible for such properties or phenomena so we can say that surface tension it is responsible for such phenomena okay today we are going to discuss the surface tension on the basis of molecular theory molecular theory means it explains the surface tension very easily but before explaining the molecular theory we need to explain some terms which are involved in the molecular theory so which are the terms the first term which is important in the molecular theory is called as the intermolecular forces intermolecular forces means they are the forces between the molecules so intermolecular forces they are the forces which are applicable in the solid for the shape okay now in the solid the intermolecular forces are greater but in liquid and in gases these intermolecular forces are weaker as compared to the solid now these intermolecular forces are divided into two main parts first part is called as the cohesive force what is cohesive force cohesive force means it is the force of attraction between the molecules of the same substance this is called as the cohesive force okay what are the examples of this cohesive force the examples of cohesive force is chalk in which the molecules of chalk there is a force of cohesion or cohesive force between the molecules of the chalk so this chalk get a definite shape also any solid have cohesive force between them such that it get a regular shape the molecules of the water the molecules of the air the cohesive force is present there what is cohesive force means cohesive force means the force of attraction between the molecules of the same substance this cohesive force is responsible for the shape of the object it is greatest in the solid and it become weaker and weaker as we go from solid liquid to gases now the second part the second force it is the adhesive force what is adhesive force adhesive force mean the force of attraction between the molecules of different substances now cohesive force means the force of attraction between the molecules of the same substance and this adhesive force is the force of attraction between the molecules of the different substances now what are the examples of adhesive forces if i am writing with the chalk on this board the force of attraction between the molecules of this chalk and between the molecules of this board is called as a adhesive force if we write with a pen on a paper the force of attraction between the molecules of the ink and the paper is also a adhesive force. so adhesive force is the force of attraction between the molecules of the different substances now the next term in this is range of molecular force what is range of molecular force range of molecular force is a distance up to which this intermolecular forces are effective 
such a distance is called as the range of the molecular forces and this range of molecular forces is vary with the shape size of the molecule if the size of the molecule is greater then the range also greater if the molecule the size of the molecule is small then the range of the molecular forces also small so what is the range of molecular forces range of molecular forces means the distance up to which the molecular forces are effective the next term is called sphere of influence what is the sphere of influence sphere of influence is a imaginary sphere sphere of influence is a imaginary sphere drawn by taking molecule as a center by taking molecule as a center and range of molecular forces as the radius such imaginary sphere is called as a sphere of influence so any molecule within the sphere of influence is attracted by that molecule so we can say that what is the sphere of influence it is a imaginary sphere drawn molecule as a center and this range of the molecular forces as the radius it is called as a sphere of influence the next term is the surface field what is surface field surface field is a layer on the surface of a liquid having width or having thickness equal to range of molecular forces okay what is surface film surface film is a layer of the surface of the liquid having range of having width of range of molecular forces it is called as the surface film and the next term is called as a free surface what is free surface free surface is the interface free surface is the interface between the two media suppose in a container water is filled then the upper layer of water and the air the interface between the air and water surface is called as the free surface of the liquid so in this way we have seen some properties some uh, definitions some terms which are very important in the molecular theory which is used to explain the surface tension how we can explain the surface tension on the basis of molecular theory a diagram is given in the book on page number 34 in which we have given three molecules we have given three molecules a b and c all these three molecules are placed at the different places now this molecule a is placed at the bottom of the liquid bottom of the liquid or we can say in the middle of the liquid this point b is placed just below the surface of the liquid just below the surface of the liquid and this point c is placed on the surface of the liquid so we consider the these three molecules at the different places in the liquid now we have seen the forces which are acting on these molecules are in the upward direction or in the downward direction consider this is molecule a this molecule a is deep inside the liquid and we see that when the molecule is deep inside the liquid a cohesive force is applied by the other molecules of the water on molecule a in all possible direction so we can say that this molecule a is remain in the water in the equilibrium position because 
a cohesive force is acted in all directions on the molecule a so molecule a is remain in the state is remain in the condition it has now we are considering a molecule b this molecule b is just below the liquid surface now if we draw this molecule b as a center and the range as a radius if we draw a sphere of influence about b the sum part of the sphere of influence lies in the air and the larger part of the sphere of influence lies in the liquid now there are two type of forces acting on the molecule adhesive force and cohesive force adhesive force between the molecule b and between the molecules of air and cohesive force cohesive force between the molecule b and the surrounded molecules of the water now we know that the density of liquid is greater than the density of air and also the number of molecules in air are smaller as compared to the molecules of the liquid so the net the effective force acting on this molecule b is in the downward direction so this molecule b is try to go inside the liquid okay now consider this molecule c this molecule c is placed on the surface of the liquid and if we draw a sphere of influence by considering this molecule c then the half portion of the sphere of influence lies in the air and the half portion lies in the liquid now there are also two forces acting on the molecule c which are the forces cohesive force what is cohesive force cohesive force applied by the molecules of the liquid which try to pull this molecule inside the liquid and the adhesive force adhesive force due to the molecules of the air which try to pull the molecule c in the upward direction but we as we stated earlier the density of liquid is greater than the density of air the number of molecules the density of the liquid is greater therefore the effective force on this molecule c is also in the downward direction so what we see from these three molecules we have seen that all the molecules are try to go inside the liquid towards the bottom of the liquid and if the molecules of the liquid are try to go inside the number of molecules on the surface of the liquid decreases and therefore therefore this surface of the liquid look like or act as a stretched membrane it is look like or act as a stretched membrane and this is the property of the surface tension so with the help of molecular theory with the help of these terms with the help of these three molecules we can easily explain what is surface tension okay now each molecule is try to go inside the liquid if we need to pull a molecule from the bottom of the liquid to the surface of the liquid some energy is needed and this energy is called as the surface energy okay here we are going to stop now in the next lecture we will see the relation between surface tension and surface energy okay so have a nice day goodbye